I am so excited for today's video, guys. We are finally getting the exhaust done once again. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you guys know, we used to have pretty much a single exit exhaust out the side, and then ever since I got hit, it wrecked the whole bumper, which is what's over there. And um, pretty much now for the first time, or actually not the first time, but it's been a while, we're going back to dual exhaust. So let me show you guys the setup that we're going to be running now. So starting out first, that's actually, let's start over here. So this is my old setup pretty much. I welded this on, so ignore this, but this is the white pipe that came with the car and it actually cracked right here. So right now there's no white pipe. Like I said, it goes straight into a single exit exhaust. So coming over here, actually we're gonna be pretty much starting with this. This is just a non-brand resonator, but it's a high flow resonator. What we have right now, it's it's a vibrant ultra quiet. So I think this is gonna make it still sound not too loud, but it's gonna give it a very nice little, you know, rumble, I hope at least. And then right over here, we got, we got a brand new Y pipe. Nothing really too special to show, but 2.5 inches, same with that. We're gonna be running two and a half inch piping. And then we're going into a four inch straight cut burnt tip. So I think this should look really, really good. Yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna look beautiful. So we're not gonna have it stick out too much like I've done in the past, but I think it should look really, really good. So if you guys are just as excited as I am, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. And if you guys are new to my channel, consider subscribing down below because there's a lot of good shit coming for this build. Cannot wait. Let's get down to the exhaust shop and fingers crossed they can even get us on. So here's idle, just so you guys can see. And there goes the door. <laughs> All right, let me give it a couple little res. We'll do more when we actually get out on the road. I don't want to anger people here, but all right, let's get on the way. We just made it down here to Plaza Muffler out in Westminster. These guys really take care of me. Um, I don't know how much I'm really going to film of it just because I've made one, two, three, four, at least four videos of me getting four different exhaust types done, but I will record it, of course. But um, we're gonna head inside, see if they even have time for me. Fingers crossed they do, and hopefully they even give me a good charge. Usually these guys really take good care of me. So Pablo, take care of me, man. So, all right guys, I'll pick up the camera in a minute. Bro, it's right here. <laughs> okay, I'll put it in the rack. All right. All right guys, we're gonna get it on the lift right now. <laughs> Freaking Pablo is hilarious. He was telling me, no camera's a camera. Where's the camera? No camera, no work. <laughs> it's all you. <laughs> we got the phone today, the phone. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, same. Dang, it looks good. She's not perfect, boys, but I built her. So that's all that matters. That's why. Just kidding. That's why what? That's why it's not perfect? I'm just kidding. I know, I'm a horrible car filmer or builder. <laughs> Both. Look at him in that freaking seat. Go, girl. Go, girl. Yeah. Look at that wide angle, though. Damn, this camera. This is wide, wide angle. Oh God, oh God, don't hit the back end. I've already fixed that. <laughs> Pablo, we need to make him an Instagram. Yeah, you look better in it than I do. <laughs> No, I, I, I'm filming. Oh yeah? Yeah, I just forgot my camera. Yeah, no, we're filming. You're in the videos. You, you film my, my partner too. Always. Of course. 
<laughs> Plaza muffler, guys. <laughs> These guys are awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Good, huh? Yeah. The bike is a soldado. Saque or soldado como lo que quiera hacer. Okay. Put a big line for ah, for ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, she's done. I'm pretty nervous to be honest. Hopefully, it sounds good. Hopefully, it looks good. What do you think? You like it so far? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I hope it sounds good. Please sound good. <laughs> angled up than what I would like but it's not bad though so. oh so close to hitting that that was insane did you air it up yeah I think he accidentally aired it out guys driving oh my god I love it I can feel the power is back um, it sounds great it's not as it's not it's a little bit louder but it's not obnoxious it sounds amazing pops are there all in all I freaking love it so let's go ahead and uh, see if you guys can hear it right here I think when we get there, maybe I'll have you just do a couple revs again, like like that one time when we did it. So we'll do a few little revs, and then uh, we're actually going to Harbor Freight right now, where I think we're gonna pick up a shop vac because we really want one. We've been wanting one, and then I'm heading home, and I'm actually going to be slamming the rear end down some more. Don't know if I'm gonna record that or not, but uh, see you guys when we get to Harbor Freight. We got it aired out, and. That's how she looks. It doesn't look bad. He angled it up quite a bit, but it really doesn't look bad for it. Oh my God. That sounds amazing. Oh my God.
<laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. So where are the shop facts? Aren't they? Weren't they usually right here? They don't have any. Wow. I don't see any. Maybe. No. Am I going to stop it? <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna try to find these shop facts. And then, uh, damn. I do need to pick up some other stuff as well. Comment down below if you guys love Harbor Freight as much as I do, because I absolutely love this store. All right, guys, so we ended up going with the um, six gallon um, wet and dry shop vac. So this is really gonna come in handy for a lot of stuff. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh. Not perfect. Oh. Oh. Shit. I think it's gonna have to go in the back seat. We're good. Perfect. Let's get a start up for you guys real quick. Alright guys, real quick, we went on a little shopping spree right next door, We uh, there was a garage sale going on, so we picked up this whole patio set, the two chairs, the table, and then uh, this bench seat right here, because as you guys know, we are moving, so we have a patio set now, so that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, B went right past me. We got Shane in the building, you guys are definitely going to start seeing more of him as well, because we're gonna be living together. We're, we're bromies now. Um, so we got the car jacked up. I'm gonna go ahead and get the wheels off, get the coils adjusted. I'm not really gonna film any of it just because I just made a video of me slamming the rear end. Um, check that video out and you guys will pretty much see what we're doing now. We're just adjusting it a little bit more. After that, um, unfortunately, we're going to be removing this because I'm just not happy like it looks amazing, don't get me wrong, but it's warped. It's warping a little bit. I mean, I don't know. It's like, it's not bad, but it bugs me. We'll see, I'm gonna lower the rear end down first and then we'll see. Cause what I'm thinking about doing is redoing it, but in metal, so it doesn't warp. And I think it'll be a lot better in the end. I don't know yet. But most likely that's probably gonna be coming out and then we'll be redoing it. I think I have, uh, I have sheet metal somewhere. We might be just kind of making another one out of metal. I think it'll be a lot sturdier overall better. Um, so real quick, we're gonna go ahead and get this done. I'll pick up the camera when everything's done um, and we'll see how she airs out. So Shane came up with an idea. We know, we both know it's been done before, but pretty much, um, we're gonna go ahead and, on this one, right? No, the black one. Right? Did, you, did you change it out already? Yeah. Okay, so Shane's gonna go ahead on this one pretty much. We're gonna get this cut off. Uh, we're gonna weld on a nut like that, weld it on. That way you can just put a socket on and just and then bam. So we'll check in on that. That's gonna be pretty cool because the reason why we got the idea or Shane got the idea right now is because I need to come up a little bit more right now. So pretty much we're just going to use this and I just do it by hand. So <laughs> we'll check in on that. That's going to be pretty cool. Go for it. Let's see it. <laughs> Once there's really heavy load under it, though, Fuck yeah. it's going <laughs> to. That's so funny, dude. Let's go. Ooh, oh boy. Here, let's do this. Put it down and then put it all the way on the floor. I'm gonna hold on to you. See if it'll do it. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, it works. If it can lift me, it can lift the car. That's cool. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, an update. We got the wheels on, that's done. 
third brake light we went ahead and pulled off just because I, I'm not happy with it guys I'm really not so right now it's exposed um, I still do I could still do this idea but metal we're gonna do metal instead of a bunch of fiberglass or I can make a plate as well out of metal and then put the third brake light here which also really sorry I don't think I was aiming it which also really it would not look bad at all so let me know what you guys think but for right now this is this is how it is it is what it is so um guys let's go ahead and see where she sits oh. we're out Huh? Yeah, well, yeah, I think it's because this is the panel was is more in or the it's the camera adjustments too. Let's see. So that's that. Yeah, it definitely raised up the front. That's for sure. <laughs> now I kind of want to lower the front, but it looks like shit it's still fucking why does it do that it's just that corner and it's the same gapping right here on that side i don't know why it's crushing so i'm gonna have to really play with that but i guess that's it though yeah this side's lower this side's way lower Huh? I mean, this one's bad. It's just, this one just goes in. But it's not as bad. Yeah, not even close to being as bad. I know, but this one goes in, though. This one, this wheel has, like, that much of a gap. This one Better. has... This one needs to come down just a little bit. But whatever. It is what it is. There she is. Could be a clearance issue or, like you said, camera. Yeah, I think it's camber. You were having this thing aligned? Yeah, as soon as I finished bagging, bagging it, I got it aligned. sound? Yep. Oh no. Let's see what it is. Oh, what the fuck? I get out and it stops. Well, so is your hood. Look how smooth it runs now ever since I did that. Oh, no, there it is. I wonder if I like did it tighten the pulley down all the way when I did that. Give it a few reps. Oh yeah. I don't know. Okay, we've got more. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave this video off. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you guys aren't ready. Let me know what you guys think of the exhaust. And uh, stay tuned. I know I say this in every video, but it's true. There's so much more to come, guys. We're getting a new shop very soon, so I'm super stoked on that. 
a lot more to come with the car interior. There's there's plenty more things that I want to do. Um, engine, we're going to be working on that as well very, very soon. So don't miss it, guys. Subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I hope to catch you all in the next one. Until next time, peace out.